What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Celio's Network. Today I've got an expanded deck profile for more Peko VMAX for you guys. Um, this was played in Collinsville by Zach Zamora. He was on stream, I believe, round six or seven. And also by Andrew Martin. They both shared the list on social media. And in, uh, Alex Shemansky uh, is in day two with the deck, but I'm not sure exactly how similar the lists are. Uh, but this is a really cool deck, so I wanted to get into looking at the list. I won't be playing any games with it today. I haven't been able to trade for any of the Dusk Nors yet on the public trade ladder, but hopefully those will go through and I'll be able to either record a video gameplay or maybe play this on stream soon once I can get uh, some of those Dusk Nors on PTCGO. Before I start looking at the deck, shout out to PotownStore.com, your best place to get PTCGO codes, and you can use code CELIO for 5% off over there. And also shout out to FlipsideGaming.com where I write free articles and you can use code CELIO, all caps, for 10% off of your next order, $10 or more. Uh, so, Morpeko VMAX, we'll start out by looking at the uh, the Morpeko V, Morpeko VMAX line. So, it's a 4-3 line of Morpeko V, Morpeko VMAX. Um, Morpeko V has 170 HP lightning type Pokemon. The first attack is Spark, colorless, it does 20 damage, and then 20 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. And this deck, as you, as we go through, you'll learn it kind of spreads damage and moves damage around. It's really cool the way it works. So Spark um, is definitely a useful attack early on, and you'll see that if you go back and watch Zack Samora's stream match. Um, and since this deck is playing counter energy, you can like use spark early on and allow them to knock out a more Peko V while you move while you spread and move damage around. And you can come in with a more Peko V max with the counter energy. And then Electro Wheel for um, two lightning and a colorless does 150. Discard an energy from this Pokemon if you do switch it with one of your bench Pokemon. I don't think uh, Electro Wheel is very good in this deck. It could be good in other more Peko decks, but you want your three energy attack or just your big attack in general to be done with more Peko V Max. Um, and you don't want to discard an energy. So Spark is pretty okay on this Pokemon, but you really want to get to more Peko V Max and start putting out more damage. So. Uh, there's three more Peko V Max, so this guy has 300 HP um, in comparison to more Peko V's 170, which is pretty low. And just one attack, max discharge for two lightning and a colorless, it does 180, and then 20 damage to each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. So if your opponent has five benched Pokemon, you're putting 280 damage on the board to work with, uh, which is a lot for three energy. Um, sometimes for only two energy, this deck does play Thunder Mountain, it does play Counter Gain. And also note that while this Pokemon does gain 130 HP from its V version, it does have 300 HP. It's also a three prize Pokemon because of the V Max rule. Looks like one of my trades for a Dusknor might have just went through uh, while recording the video, so that's cool, but I don't think it updates. Uh, in the video, but uh, I don't think it updates in the deck manager, but we'll go on to look at the Dusknor line next since the Morpeko V Max line and the Dusknor line are two of the most important parts of the deck. Um, so we've got a 2-2-2 line of Dusknor. We have the Duskull from Cosmic Eclipse with Spiritborn Evolution, which is actually really good at making the uh, any Dusknor playable. So uh, the ability reads, once during your turn, you may discard three cards from your hand. If you do, search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon and put it onto this Pokemon. So, you don't even have to do this when you play Duskull from your hand. It can just, you can start Duskull or set it there, play a supporter, then come back to it. Um, and it's also good that you get to discard cards from your hand because you can put energy in there to get with Coco Prism. And you can just use Propagate Eggs to... Uh, as two of the three cards you have to discard for this. So uh, this card's really good because it um, can discard cards from your hand. So if you need to empty your hand or put the lightning energy into the discard pile. And it's also really good, of course, because it accelerates your evolution and gets the dust clop, uh, dust clops onto the dust goal. So nothing really special about the dust clops. You can use disable with counter energy. If there was ever a situation that called for it, but probably not. And then the Dusk Nors, uh, look, it shows that I have one, so one of those trades did go through. Um, 
So Dusknoir is a really, really crucial part of the deck. It's a stage two Pokemon with 130 HP, which is not very impressive in this time of the trading card game, but its ability is very good. So Sinister Hand, as often as you like during your turn, you may move one damage counter from one of your opponent's Pokemon to another of your opponent's Pokemon. So uh, like I said, you're building up damage with those sparks, with the discharges. If you're not knocking things out, you can move damage around wherever you want it to take potentially all six prizes in one turn with Sinister Hand, or set it up so that after you move the damage with Sinister Hand, you then take your prizes with your next attack. Um, so I'm always a fan of damage spread and moving damage around and kind of these non-linear strategies like this. Dusknoir is a very cool card that has been uh, an important part of decks in the past. Uh, I can think of Flygon, and um, I know uh, there's been... Uh, damage moving abilities like this uh in other decks i believe in an excelgore deck i'm not sure if it was dusknor but i think it might have been um there's also been dusknor but toad a lot of things with this kind of ability or even this this specific ability and i think this is a really cool ability so that's why i'm very interested in this deck and it's such a cool combo with more peko v max and dusknor i don't think anybody else was thinking about these two cards being paired together so that's really sick and i was so excited to see this on stream um so some other cards in the deck we have a 2-1 octillery line for its abyssal hand for draw support once during your turn you may draw cards until you have five cards in your hand the mimic you with shadow box Pokemon GX that have any damage counters on them. Both yours and your opponents have no abilities. This doesn't affect you in any way. The only GX Pokemon with an ability we have is the Dene, and that ability gets used as soon as you play it down. So Mimikyu is good at shutting off Zorak GX if that's around. It's good at shutting off Bileplume GX and Aggrowl potentially. Uh, can shut off Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team. So Shadow Box is a really cool ability to have around when you can just move damage counters wherever you want them to be. Uh, there's also the two Propagates for using your Quick Balls, Ultra Balls, um, for using your Dust Skull ability. Then we've got the Tapu Koko Prism for Dance of the Ancients to accelerate two lightning energy onto your board. Even if it's just one lightning energy, I think one can oftentimes be enough with this deck. You just want to get one more Peko VMAX going and attack a couple times. And uh, that's all the Pokemon, so let's expand this and go down to the trainers. So... Uh, let's see, we've got two Battle Compressor, which is a consistency card sometimes in Expanded because you can put uh, the supporter you need to use into there. And then Versus Seeker for it, you can thin out your deck of cards you don't need anymore for this specific matchup or this specific game, depending on how the game is playing out. Uh, you can put the Executes in there so you can use them. You can get your Lightning Energy into there so you can use Dance of the Ancients. Very good card to have around in Expanded. It can be used for a lot of different things. Dowsing Machine, usually the generic A-Spec included in decks in Expanded are either, well, in Expanded, A-Specs are only in Expanded, but usually the generic ones you include are either Dowsing Machine or Comp Search, unless there's another one that has some sort of niche use for your deck. Um, so, Computer Search, I could see you would want Computer Search potentially for more consistency, uh, but it looks like they chose to go with Dowsing Machine here potentially for the extra counter gain, the extra feel blower. So, because of Dowsing Machine, instead of running four Versus Seeker and two Feel Blower, for example, you can cut those two cards for one Dowsing Machine and you have another card slot left over, which is commonly a choice that people will make when building expanded decks. So, the one Dowsing Machine, one Feel Blower, which I think is good um, to get rid of a Float Stone or a Tool in general on Garbatoxin so you can continue using Sinister Hand. And it's also good to remove a Stealthy Hood so you can move damage counters on and from a Pokemon with Stealthy Hood on it. Um, there's one Ordinary Rod and one Rescue Stretcher, so a fair amount of uh, Pokemon Retrieval. And you can also get your Lightning Energy back with the Ordinary Rod if you ever needed to. There are 10 Pokemon Search cards with 4 Ultra Ball, 4 Quick Ball, and 2 Pokemon Communication. Uh, Pokemon Communication should be pretty solid in this deck since there are 21 Pokemon. 
Uh, so this deck looks like it's built for consistency other than the dowsing machine. But like I said, having dowsing machine can really help add one extra card slot. Uh, but four Ultra Ball, four Quick Ball, two Pokemon Communication is a really consistent ball search engine. Then you've got for supporters, uh, three Juniper, discard draw seven, three N, of course, shuffle, and then you each draw however many prize cards you have remaining. Uh, one Guzma Hala and one Mallow Lana, and then one Guzma, and of course, three uh, Versa Seeker to get those supporters back. So, um, Mallow Lana is not a card that we see often in the expanded format, and um, I can't really pinpoint if there's a specific matchup that you might want it for, but. Um, I'm sure if I played around with it against some of the expected popular decks in Expanded, I could find some use for it. Of course, it could be good versus anything that's not one-shotting you, but that's obvious because it helps you heal. Um, but I'm not sure if it was in there for a specific matchup or just nice to have around to heal since more Peko VMAX has a ton of HP. Um, the Goose Mahala gets you Counter Energy, and it gets you Counter Gainer Floatstone, and of course it gets you Thunder Mountain, which is the only stadium of the deck. Um, the attacks of your Lightning Pokemon cost one Lightning less. I should also note that it's good they have Field Blower in here, because that can get rid of a Chaotic Swell um, if you wanted to play down your Thunder Mountain. And then for tools, there is two Floatstone and one Counter Gain. And uh, yeah, like I said, oh, also the energy, four counter and three lightning. Can't forget the energy. So counter energy, we've talked about this on the channel and the discussions and maybe even some of my videos on my own, um, that counter energy is really, really strong with sword and shield because it can't be used on Pokemon GX or EX, but it can be used on Pokemon V. So um, it can just account as two lightning for Morpeko Mopec VMAX's max discharge, which is really, really busted. Um, and I think there was a fair amount of counter energy used with V Pokemon in the expanded format in Collinsville this weekend. And I think we'll see a lot more as expanded format develops and we get even more V Pokemon in the future. Um, so this is definitely more of a rogue archetype. There's one in day two as far as I know. I'm recording this on the night of day one. So maybe there was another in day two that we missed. And I'm not sure exactly how day two plays out yet because that's happening tomorrow. So. Um, but I wanted to get this video recorded because I wanted to take a look at the deck for myself, kind of talk about how it works, figure out how it works, and talk to you guys about it because I think it's a really fun, cool, unique, interesting deck. And a lot of players like to try things that aren't meta, even if they're not going to play it to tournaments, it's really fun and refreshing to play with new combinations. And I'm always thinking about new combinations, especially in Expanded, because there's nine years worth of sets in Expanded. Um, and this is just so awesome. Morpeko VMAX and Dusk Noir maybe on the surface don't look like they have a lot of synergy, but they end up having a lot of synergy with the spread damage and Morpeko being able to last a hit and the new Dusk Skull uh, accelerating the Dusk Clops engine so you don't have, to, or the Dusk Clops evolution so you don't even have to run rare candy in this stage 2 deck. Um, so a lot of cool stuff going on here. I think this deck is very good and very interesting. So if you have the cards or can trade for the cards for this, I highly suggest trying it out or maybe even in uh, real life you can proxy if you want to try it out. I'm definitely going to try it out as soon as I get my second Dusk Nor on the public trades. Uh, hopefully tomorrow the other trade will go through maybe while I'm sleeping. But I hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile on more Peko V Max Dusk Nor. Definitely shout out to the people playing it in Collinsville um zach andrew and alex as far as i know other people may have been playing it as well uh subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this in the future and i'll see you next time here on celio's network